Hi guys, Erica Sopa with another marketing tip of the day. Today I want to talk about word choice. Word choice is so important when it comes to marketing your product or service. There's two ways you can do it. The first way I like to call the old fashioned way. You're all about yourself, telling everybody exactly what you offer, your product, your service, and here's what I do. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with that because I know that that works and I know that it's important to do that, but uh, it's, it's ten, it tends to be a turnoff for most people. On the flip side, what I learned is that marketing is such an emotional response. If you can evoke an emotion in somebody, they're more likely to be interested in what it is that you have to offer, sell, product, service, you know? Uh, to put this in an example, if I were a clothing boutique owner and I was selling a red top, I can do it the old fashioned way and say, hey, here's my red top, do you wanna buy it? On the flip side, the other thing that I can do is evoke emotional response and say, are you looking for that one top to feel comfortable and confident this Friday on your date night? Look no more, because I got this adorable red top that you should be wearing for this Friday's date night adds a little bit of emotion to it, right? You're like, yeah, okay, yeah, I think I do want to be a little cute and confident and sexy this Friday. If I were a furniture uh, builder and I'm selling this beautiful custom dining room set, um, instead of saying in the old ways, hey, here's my furniture, I sell my furniture, this is my dining room table, do you want it? If I want to evoke emotional response, perhaps my language would say something like, are you looking for that one furniture piece for your kitchen, for your friends and family to join around, enjoy a home-cooked meal filled with laughter and fun-filled memories? Look no further. You can have that with this dining room table that I built. So it, it just kind of evokes a different response and it answers that question, well, what's in it for me? Why should I buy this product or service? So the next time you're posting about your business's product or service, try thinking about it from the, from the buyer's perspective. What are they actually getting when they buy that shirt, when they buy that dining room set? Or I talked to a friend recently, she sells um, essential oils. I'm like, well, yes, you do sell essential oils, but you're not just selling oils, you're selling something to provide a healthier lifestyle. So you say, hey, are you interested in a healthier lifestyle? Yeah, actually I am. Great, I offer that. And I offer that through these essential oils. So it's just a different spin on it. So next time, like I said, when you are selling your product or service on social media and putting it out there, do it in a way that answers the question, what's in it for them? And I feel like if you do that, you might have a little higher success rate. If you found this video helpful, give this a thumbs up. If you have any ideas of how you're gonna do that, I'd love to hear it. Put, put the uh, idea in the comments below and I'd love to collaborate with you. You guys have a great rest of the day and I will see you tomorrow.